Hello, my name is David Al Cohen and I'm Executive Vice President of Comcast Corporation and I'm here today to have a conversation on Media Insider with Mark Morial, President and CEO of the National Urban League. Mark? Thanks, David. So let's start with diversity and the media industry. Why, why is diversity particularly important um, for those of us in the media well, industry? Well, I'm glad to be with you. You know, diversity is important in TV because TV is the window through which people see themselves. Diversity is strengthened when media leads on diversity because it helps people understand that the world as it is and the world that they live in is the world that they see. You know, what's interesting is, you know, at the last meeting of the Joint Diversity Council, we invited chief diversity officers in a number of companies um, to come in and talk about diversity and inclusion at their companies. And we, frankly, we chose what we thought were leading companies for diversity in America. And um, I mean, I was struck by comments from multiple members of the Joint Diversity Council of, you know, gee whiz, we're, we, we, the JDC, we, Comcast and NBC Universal are way ahead of where those companies are, and it made me made me feel like we actually are accomplishing something together. Andrew Young, who's a great friend and mentor, shared with me uh, on several occasions that in America today, uh, corporate executives can be civil rights champions, can be indeed champions of diversity, and because of the tremendous. Uh, influence that they have over American life, uh, their commitment to diversity was essential to moving the needle. I think uh, with what we've done, we've set a marker down at Comcast and Comcast NBC Universal uh, that is going to be studied, going to be evaluated, and going to be admired for many, many years to come. We have a long-term commitment by Comcast to do something uh, very positive, but I think we are on to something and I think the transparency has been legendary. You know, when I've shared with others the idea that they should follow suit, many people, their eyes get <laughs> wide, they step back and say, wait a minute. So in doing that, you've provided us, I think, with a role model for 21st century diversity. The idea that we've got African Americans, Latinos, Asians, uh, people from uh, women's organizations in the disabled community hand in hand with you all to build a first class uh, American enterprise in the 21st century, I think has always been what's driven uh, mm -hmm. our collective uh, relationship. You know, it's interesting in the, you know, here we are in America in, in the year 2013. Um, we have our first African American president to be reelected as president. What's your view on how this country has progressed in terms of our ability to talk about race? Do we still have it's, challenges? It's very difficult still for people publicly and openly to talk about race in a positive and candid fashion. Uh, but I do think where we've made tremendous progress is in commitments by government and by the private sector to the idea of, uh, of racial equality, economic equality, and economic opportunity. Uh, we've made tremendous progress as a nation, and this generation of Americans should recognize that many worked very hard to push us to where, the, where we've become. We have made great progress, but uh, I think that we have to recognize that we're in a building stage, we're on a long journey to make this nation true to the words of its founding fathers. So, Mark Morial, President and CEO of the National Urban League, thank you for joining David, us thank on you. Media Insider. Thank you. Appreciate Great. it. Thanks.